Hey guys, and welcome back to The Shaving Tools, and this is your host, to be Two Shaves, and today we are going to be looking at the Switchback 400. Now, I know that you guys have been talking to me about this for a while, ever since I started showing pictures of this little guy right here um, on Instagram, saying that I had purchased one. You guys were like, let me know what you think. Let me know if it's something that I should be looking into, or should I pass on? I already have so many brushes, which, trust me, I 100% understand the whole brush problem. I've got dozens and dozens of different kinds of brushes for different scenarios, different pictures, different pairings, you name it, I've got it. Um, so the question is, should you have another brush? Maybe one brush to rule them all? Well, that's what we're going to be addressing in tonight's video. Now, you guys have already seen in the little clip, or you will be seeing in the clip tonight, either here or here. Um, that we are going to be shaving with a couple different products, including Sterling Soap Pumpkin Spice, one of my absolute favorites. But I do have tons of soap, so if you guys are like, oh my god, he's wasting a ton of soap, don't worry. I have got so much soap, I could last decades and never run out of soap. So, um, some soaps make the sacrifice, and Sterling is one that I know I can rely on. I like to showcase it in these videos because I am very familiar with how the base performs. The other thing that we're going to be using tonight is the Rec Supply Company Envoy. Um, this is also Rec Supplies under Razor Emporium. Um, and this is their offering to kind of go alongside the Rex Ambassador, which I've already reviewed. And if you haven't seen that video, go take a look at that video because it's an interesting comparison between that and this razor, which I actually have paired with a feather blade tonight. I am going to be using my Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm Ice Cold. This is stuff that you can pretty much find at your local Walgreens. Um, I got this little guy as part of a little travel bag. Um, and I've used it once before and it was really cool. So I'm excited to use it again because you guys know I really like menthol and cold stuff. So we're going to get started. First things first, I do want to showcase what it actually comes in and how it's packaged. So when you do get one of these, you get the Switchback 400. You get one ferrule and you get one band. And that's pretty much it. Now you can buy different colored bands on Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements website. Um, you can buy multiple ferrules. You can buy the 26 or the 24. They fit on the same handle, so don't worry about that. Once you buy the base um, Switchback 400, you're gonna be able to switch out ferrules left and right, as you guys are gonna be seeing in this video if you haven't already. But it comes nicely packed in here. It'll let you know if you opted for the 26 or the 24 at checkout for the switchback. But again, you can buy additional ferrules. This one's a 24 millimeter ferrule that fits on the same handle. And they're all aircraft grade aluminum. And it's a very nice, super solid. This is not a hollow handle. This is a super solid aluminum handle. It's it a really good heft to it, which is a stark contrast to something like the Simpsons, which actually still has pretty decent weight as composed to, as opposed to other brushes that I own that feel a little bit more hollow. This still, for a little itty bitty brush, has a ton of weight, and I love this brush. Um, but this one's definitely the heaviest brush I own, bar none, even more so than the Hulk from Razor Rock. It's just solid aluminum, it feels really, really nice, and it comes in the satin finish. So there was a V1 version of this. I think there have only been two versions of the PAA Switchback 400. And from what I understand, they're interchangeable with the ferrules. So if you have one of the originals, um, you can get one of these. The only difference is that the original V1 had a polished finish, and this one, which is a little bit closer to the Rubber Set 400, which this brush is based off of. Whereas this one is a more satin finish, and originally, that made me a little sad um, because I do like a nice polished finish. However, I've come to actually really appreciate the satin finish. And the main reason for that is because the satin finish does not, it's not a fingerprint magnet. So you're not getting fingerprints on it. You're not wiping it away religiously like I typically do when I'm doing my shave of the days um, and other things. Um, all my pictures that I post on Instagram, probably one of my biggest pet peeves is having to like clean down my brushes and my razors as I'm trying to post pictures because I keep moving them, I keep putting more fingerprints on them. This does not have that problem. Now you guys have seen in the video 
how I'm building a lather in a bowl because I did want you guys to get that exposure. But what I'm also doing is I'm going to be doing a face lather on the video itself. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Now, out of these knots here, um, we've got a kind of a Plasson Plasoft type knot from PAA. Both these uh, knots here, the synthetic ones, are from PAA. So that's really nice. We're looking at the Switchback 400, and I'm going to be utilizing a facial lather tonight because I want you guys to see what that's like. Now, the two synthetics that I have, those are both from PAA. You can find those pretty inexpensive. That's what I like about synthetic knots. Um, but this one was one that I bought overseas. I don't even remember what it is. But it was in another brush, not glued down, friction fit. So I placed it in here and glued it in permanently. So it worked out. Oh, and it smells wonderful in here because I, I did all that at the same time that I'm recording this video when I was doing the lather in the bowl. And so it smells like fall and there's no better time in the year in my opinion than fall. I really, really like it. I like the smells. I like the foods. I love Halloween. And then winter's right around the corner. You've got Christmas. Just a good time of the year. And we're in August. So getting closer to that time frame is always really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead, since this is scented and I do want to smell the scent, put it in the beard because I like it to absorb the scent too. Just a kind of a weird thing I've always... I say that, I hate to say always because it's not been an always thing, but I've done it quite a bit. So you guys can see there it whipped up a great lather in no time. Now I'm going to be bringing out the Envoy and doing this. Now this is not the review for the Envoy. Um, I will be doing a separate review for this razor comparing it directly to the Rex Ambassador. So, okay, if you guys haven't seen that review, go take a look at that. The Feather Blades didn't agree with the Rex Ambassador, but they do agree with the Envoy. But getting back to the Switchback, one of the things that I love about the Switchback is that it allows for customization. So you pretty much have an endless amount of possibilities because there's so many 26 and 24 millimeter knots out there. And speaking of which, there are currently no other ferrules out there. So you couldn't buy like a 28 millimeter ferrule as far as I know for this switchback. Trying to keep those lines as tight as possible. But I love the customizations. I love the possibilities of what you can do with this particular brush. I mean, as you guys can see in the video, I could swap knots on the fly, which is huge. I absolutely love that aspect to it. Uh, if you were wanting a one brush does everything sort of brush, then pick up the Switchback 400. Uh, because again, you can swap out the bands for different colors if you want to match it a little bit more to your shave the day stuff like green for uh, the sterling products or whatever you want. Um, and you can just swap out different knots so you can get the familiarity of the same kind of handle and add that to your regular routine. So if you have a, a go-to brush um, or you have a go-to razor, you can add this brush to the lineup and just swap out the knots and you've got the same weight in the same overall feel as you would with any other knot, like the Badger that I have in here right now. I want to say it's a high mountain white, but to be 100% honest, I have no idea. But I've really, really enjoyed it, and I've been using this, this brush setup for weeks now. So I've had more than enough time 
to formulate an opinion. And to really, you know, get an idea as to if this is a brush for me. And I just love a go-to brush that you can use literally in every aspect. There are some times where I prefer a synthetic. There are some times where I prefer a smaller knot. Um, but there are times where I want a larger knot or something with more splay like an animal hair brush. I'm not saying there aren't great synthetics with great splay. Just saying. Um, but I eventually plan on getting a bore um, knot in here. Um, I plan on getting all sorts of things. And the ferrules themselves, I think, are $9.95. Um, the brush itself, I can't recall the price. Um, I want to say around 40 bucks, might be a little bit more, but honestly for everything that you're getting now, you do have to glue your own knots. So you're going to get like a two part epoxy and glue that knot in there. Just be careful to watch the threads. Uh, that was the thing that I struggled with the most. Was avoiding those threads, but I assure you it is possible. But honestly, I've really, really enjoyed this brush. I'm super glad I finally decided to jump in and take the chance and buy it. Again, it's not that expensive, especially when you look at the world of wet shaving and the community and the brushes that you can, the amount of money that you can spend on brushes can get pretty ridiculous. Um, but I love brushes. It's one of the aspects of the hobby that I really, really enjoy. So I'd say if you're on the fence and you're nervous about um, putting in your own knots, don't be. It's really not that bad. There's a tutorial video um, on the buyer's page for the Switchback 400. And again, it's just a classic design. I mean, this is based off of a classic, one of the most sought after brushes um, in the community, which is the Rubber Set 400. And usually when you find them, they're all dinged up. Um, they need some restorative work, um, which there's some great restorers out there. Ray, as I'm looking at you, buddy. Um, but overall, I think my one of my pet peeves with this particular style is they command such ridiculous prices. Um, even the replicas command some crazy prices. And there's no need for that when you can get something like this in aluminum. which should, in theory, cut down on cost and help you save your money for other things. Which is my main thing, you know, here on the channel is, you know, I want to help you guys figure out things that you're really going to enjoy that you're not going to have buyer's remorse over. Now, does that mean that everything that works for me is going to work for you? Definitely not. I and mean, I don't want to lead you guys astray on anything. If I didn't like this brush, or if it came to me dinged up or whatever, I would let you know. But it came to me looking great, feeling great. I was super eager to get started with it. Um, and I used it almost exclusively for a week. And then on and off after that, as I got new brushes and other hardware and stuff in. But honestly, I've loved it. I love the experience of it. I love the idea of it. And the price was really good. It kind of hit that sweet spot for me. A little bit of irritation over there. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to follow up with the Duke Cannon Aftershave. I love Duke Cannon. They've got some great products. Uh, there is a Facebook group for people that like Duke Cannon stuff. So if that's kind of your speed, feel free to go look it up. I don't know if it's invite only. I don't think it is. I think you can find it. But this particular product definitely leans heavy on the menthol scent. So you're getting that blast of cold. You're getting that blast of Vicks Vapor Rub, essentially. But I don't mind it all that much. I love how it makes my face feel, is the, is the big thing. I love menthol. But you know what? Guys know I love synthetic menthol. Just I'll keep it. But anyways, guys, that is the rubber set for 100. 
What do you think about it? Is it something that you're interested in? Is it something that maybe has been on your radar for a while and this maybe helped you move forward with your purchase? Because these do occasionally sell out. I'm um, usually I'll want one like the V1, then they run out, then you have to wait a couple months, and then you can jump on like the V2 version, which is this matte finish or the satin finish that I really like. Um, but these themselves do sell out and then you gotta wait for more to come in. So just keep that in mind. Um, thankfully, I'm on his mailer list, so I do get notifications for that sort of thing. But I'm always afraid with like kind of more limited drops. I think this this one isn't going anywhere. I think there's always going to be some of these made and eventually they'll return in stock. But just something to keep in mind. But I really like it. It's a solidly built brush. It's something that looks excellent in your den and your shave of the day picks. And it's such a classic design. I mean, you can't, no one can fault you for one of these. I mean, no one looks at one of these and says, oh man, why'd you pick that brush? No, everyone looks at one of these and says, man, that's a sexy looking brush, because it really is. And the handle just has a great weight to it. It feels wonderful in your hand. And I'd say that's the weirdest thing, is going from something really heavy to something light. That's weird. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time here on The Shaving Tolson. We got some great content planned for you, so stay tuned.